Hello everyone, today in this video I'm going to show you how to install Superbase on Synology NAS and the process is following. Uh, the first thing you should do is that you are going to go to the GitHub page of Superbase and then you need to download the code base of Superbase by clicking on code and then download zip. After that you have this folder Superbay Master is a Superbay branch in GitHub. Here, yeah? sorry, it's a Superbay Master branch. And after that, you need to care about the Docker folder only. So, this is a Docker folder. And basically, what you should do with this Docker folder is that you need to change some uh, environmental variables. So I'm going to do that by dragging the folder into VS Code, as you can see here. And um, you will see here on uh, the Superbase page inside Docker folder, there will be a uh, env example file. So this is an env example file. So you're going to need to change something in this file to suit your environment. So I'm gonna go back to Visual Studio Code and I'm gonna open up a terminal. So this is a terminal. Uh, you need to create a .env file first. So by doing .env or you just uh, right click and uh, add a new file here if you are on Windows. So basically now we have a blank env file. Uh, we need to copy the content of the example env file into the env file here. So at first my, my installation has some errors because of conflicted port. So please be uh, careful to choose your port so that it's not conflicted with the ports that you are using. So uh, here I'm going to do that. Um, 5, 4, 3, 2, maybe, uh, yeah, 5 again, for example. And of course, you should change these password and uh, secret key. Uh, for example, the password password, the JWT secret, and so on. Uh, and uh, because this is the demonstration, so I'm not going to change this. Um, the Postgres host, you can leave alone. The uh, Postgres DB, uh, you can leave alone. And as I say uh, a little minute ago, so the Postgres port, you can, should change it. And uh, the Pooler port, so it's 6543. So it's okay for me, but uh, for example, if you need to change it, uh, I'm going to add a 6 there, uh, API proxy, so uh, it's Kong API, so I will change it to 8009 and uh, HTTP, so only uh, a 3 and then a 9, like this. Um, and after that, if you deploy on your Synology NAS, so... Uh, I did this, I changed localhost to my Synology NAS IP address, so I will say 192.168.1.190, like this. So, uh, of course, for this localhost also, an external, external URL, I changed it to match the port here, so... 8008 and the email I'm not setting up email with my local installation so I uh, let the email be and I've got localhost change it to my uh, Synology NAS IP address uh, if you use open API key so you can enter one here I'm not so I leave it alone so Yes, I think that's it. So now I'm going to save this. Okay. 
After saving this, uh, you need to go into your Synology NAS management system, uh, open up Fire Station, and go into Docker or any folder that you you use to uh, to install. It. So I'm gonna create a new folder here. I'm naming it SB for Superbase. I'll click on OK and go into SB. Now it's good time to upload the content of my Docker folder here. So as you can see here, we uh, we don't see the env file here. I just gonna up upload this. So uh, let's see if the env file is presented here. So as you can see, the env file is not presented here. So I'm gonna do this instead. I'm gonna go into VS Code. I'm gonna change this uh, to a env file only. So now I'm go back to my uh, folder and then re-upload my env file and then on the NAS I need to change the rename into .env file ok now the .env file is presented so now we need to uh, do the next step uh, go to the main menu and then go to container manager so go to project so this is the way we can uh, install Superbase on uh, inside container manager on a Synology NAS. Uh, click on create the project name, name it SB. Um, okay, maybe the project name it don't need to uh, to be the same as the folder name, so I'm gonna name it uh, Superbase like this. And uh, for the path, I click on set path and I set the Docker path to be the uh, SB folder that I created before. So click on select and then because inside this folder there is a uh, docker compose YML file. So I'm going to click OK. So this is my docker YML pre -configured. Okay. Now I'm going to click on next, this one, next, this one. And remember to check the checkbox that said uh, start the project once it is created. And then click on done and now if you see those pulling that's a great sign because the uh, your Synology NAS is pulling from the docker from the uh, configuration inside the docker compose and what you can do is now sipping a coffee pause videos and then uh, come back in later in a few minutes so it's now downloading all the image file and if you uh, receive a uh, notifications about conflicted ports you need to go back into your .env file and change that port and make sure that it's not conflicted anymore and uh, simply rebuild the process So I'm going to pause the video here and wait for the build process to be finished. So after about 10 minutes on my system, which is a Synology NAS 923 Plus, uh, I'm getting this um, failure. So basically the, the folder inside volumes is not, is not uh, exist. So uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm, I'm going to create this storage folder. So let me create that go inside volumes and then create folder storage okay and now I'm go back to this and uh, right click build and we will wait a little bit more so uh, basically on my system it's 10 minutes plus something because it really depends on your internet connection or your resources of your system so your mileage may vary so my mouth failed so what is the problem here okay now I need to to create this again so our uh, volumes DB data volumes DB data okay create folder data and I'm sorry for that because the last installation 
it hasn't happened yet. So I'm gonna fix that. Maybe it's a good example for you before you install. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to Container Manager Build. So as you can see here, some of the container are already up and running and some are started. So now we will wait again. During the installation or build process of Superbase, you may see some, uh, some information or some log uh, stated that the uh, container is not healthy. So basically what you can do is that uh, you close this console and then you wait a bit and after waiting a bit uh, the container may start again healthy and then you need to uh, right click on the Superbase name here and then build again and uh, it will be okay. Now we are now seeing that uh, most of the uh, uh, container were started successfully and uh, we wait now we wait until the console log uh, said that uh, exited code zero so during the installation of build process I need to uh, click uh, rebuild um, sometimes when I received the uh, notification that some container uh, is not healthy so now I have exit code zero so uh, it indicates that the installation process is uh, finished and successfully now you can see the status of Superbase is a green circle if you click into it you can see that every status of 13 containers are green uh, not so green here I have um, uptime one minute unhealthy so you can basically click into it and see the log uh, if there may be some warning no logs available but uh, with this going I will check the web interface here uh, Visual Studio Code so the port for HTTPS is uh, this one so I'm gonna click it and then new tab one uh, okay I'm gonna go to the address and remember to put HTTPS okay looks good uh, this website and for the first time you need to enter your login information now your login information is stored here dashboard username is superbase and password is this one okay now you can sign in so this is your superbase uh, table editor, SQL editor, run and I think it's okay authentication so basically I'm gonna test to create a new table uh, test table okay, description this is a test okay so add column test choose is a uh, float JSON okay set creating new table now we will wait at three columns test table so I'm gonna go back to so this is my test table I can insert data insert rows so the ID will automatically generate it the uh, JSON I can edit here test ok so apply saved so this is my superbase installed inside so now you can see after you wait a bit every containers become green here so it indicate we uh, we have a superbase instant running inside container manager on a Synology NAS thank you for watching